right now we're back here in our studio with uh, professional organizer Colette Robichaud. Now, Colette, you're here to help people get ready for back to school, to get themselves sorted. Uh, do things usually fall apart in the summertime? What do you feel? Well, fall apart is one way of putting it. Yes. They just lax up a little bit. So there's okay. a lot of those routines and things that people sort of fall off on, especially getting the kids, you know, to bed early. And they're just not used to routines of remembering where things are, like their school supplies and things like that. So. It's a big step to get people back and de-stressed for that first week. Okay, so what is the first step? Well, the first step this time of year is probably to gather some school supplies from last year. See what you have left okay. and uh, compare that to your list for this year. Get it all in one place. Maybe get it in a container or something like this. And look at your list and see what you're missing mm -hmm. and create that list to go out. So if you just go out with that list without knowing what you have, you may find that you already have 3,000 sheets of loose leaf when and you're purchasing more. So see what you have and then get, a, get a, a something like this for the rest of the year that you have some of those extras of markers and pencils, things that you know you'll go through and that they'll lose erasers and have it labeled handy label is a wonderful tool for organization for for children have it labeled that the kids know where that extra thing is and then you can say I've lost my eraser or my pencils go to that school supply box and you can get them and check in regularly keep that going how important just in your own experience doing what you do how important is it that um, the parents are organized uh, and you know how does that reflect onto the kids like if parents are organized are the kids usually organized or there, do there's you usually some, see a disconnect a, a lot of times modeling what the parents do yeah. really help but these days we have different things like ADD and some different conditions our okay. children have that may interfere with the, their ability to be organized as well and maybe they need some extra resources but for anything modeling what the parents do is great and also the more a parent is organized the less stress they are yeah. and that allows them to help the kids to be organized and function a little better as well uh, I gotcha okay Okay, so you've got a you've got a labeler here. You yeah. just touched on it on it briefly. Not just for school supplies. You can use no. this everywhere in the kitchen. That'd be great. Yeah, and when you have more than one one child, it's really important to you know uh, label their little cubby areas, that sort of area that they come in and have yeah. that drop off part part after school, their hooks where they might put their coats or their baskets for mittens and things like that. And then it's not like, oh, where is it? It's like, it's your basket, it's your your uh, place to put things, and then the children know it. So they're not looking for their book bag either the next no, day, they right? Have back a place it for it. Have a, have yeah. a place specifically yeah. for it. Run along some bags here? Yeah, this is your big tool for getting ready for clothing for okay. back to school. And it's a nice clear bag. Mm -hmm. And what that's about is the same way as we gathered everything together and took a look and a little inventory check for school supplies. We want to know what you have clothing wise. Yeah. What do we have? You know, do you need more tights? Do you have you outgrown your, your running shoes? And see what you have. If not, get it in the bag and get it ready to donate. We've got some great places you can do a drop off right away to to uh, Salvation Army and don't use a garbage bag because it might go out with the trash yeah. all your hard work of doing Something that. Something see-through. Yeah, keep it going at all times and get some of that seasonal stuff out of the way. Get some larger containers like this and you can get moving moving along. How, you know, you've probably seen a lot of hoarding through the years. Mm -hmm. Some people want to hold on to clothes because they're associated right. with memories or, you know, yeah. a time in life. Is that, is that a good idea eventually? You're holding on to too much stuff? Well, for most of us, we start to run out of room when you do that. And what I like to say with people when we work with clothes, it's either clothing or it's memorabilia. Right. If it's clothing, let's get in the closet and make it easier for us to use. Yeah. If it's memorabilia, let's get it somewhere else. Okay. Because you don't want to be going through memorabilia to get dressed every morning. Right. Okay. Okay. This makes sense. Good. Another tool that works really well to get organized for clothing are these that can hang oh, in the closet. a foldable shelf. Yeah. <laughs> and these are wonderful. You can go the, every day of the week and have the clothes already lined up for children. Okay. And I know I was with a client yesterday. Yesterday and she says, any tips for my creative little daughter that's yeah. now putting stripes and polka dots together and things? And yeah. it's like, have the outfits already together. Yeah. They like to have a choice. Give them a choice. You maybe start off with one I or love two. That. As they get older, have them for every day, day of the week. They can also pick from there. Nice and easy, and it's all done. You can get the laundry outfits right back. Yeah, in there. and you have everything ironed or ready yeah. to go, ready to wear. It's, and it's yeah. all in one place, and the child can grow Perfect. by just saying, go to your compartment and let things go. Love it. Yeah, that's a really good way for mom and dad to kind of give away some of the control sure. in the morning, too. For sure. Yeah. They want to grow with that. Okay. Tip four, we also want to get the toy room tidied up yeah. before you go. Everyone says, how do I get rid of those little locks and Lego and things? Use this. Our okay. little dustpan, dust <laughs> up the little toys, get them in one place, separate it, rate them out in little containers okay. like this. So a nice little toy we have around the house. And finally? Finally, the knapsack. Make sure when you're purchasing, it's age appropriate, not too large. Um, health and safety wise, we don't want uh, them carrying a bag any more than 15 to 20 to 20% of their body their weight. Body weight. Want to make sure it has wide straps and try and get them in the habit of the big stuff inside, the important notes in the same place 
yeah. every day so you can take it out, some of the pencils and things on the side, and get it back on that hook that's maybe labeled with their name yeah. on it and create a routine that, you know. Good stuff. And I guess a good idea, too, is to get a bag that wouldn't allow them to carry more weight than no, they actually could. No, you don't want to do yeah, that. Yeah, you don't want a giant no. bag. Because like it, it will fill Five-year-old, for example. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Colette, thank you very much. You can get more information by going to organizersincanada.com. Colette, come and get your life in order for sure.